Hi all and welcome back to my channel. That's me again, your great NSC in the place to be. Yeah, like I told before, today I'm gonna just talk with you about water cooling on a computer. Um, this water cooling here I have made years long ago, really. Um, I think it was maybe about seven years or like that. Um, socket 1366 has just come out on this time and I have just built me some great stuff here together. And I just want to say this is still running just like <laughs> seven or eight years ago. Really, this is just a lovely system and I just want to present you my water cooling because water cooling is not just water cooling, you know. So uh, a great water cooling should always be, um, yeah, let's say cold and, and really great. So otherwise a water cooling makes no sense, you know. So that's why I'm here for you to talk about the great stuff about water cooling. So um, the first thing, what is so great on water cooling? Yeah, the first thing is that it is really cool. You can cool all with water cooling. And the second thing is also, um, <laughs> your overclocks gonna be a lot better. You can overclock a graphics card or a CPU way better and way uh, cooler as just with air cooling. And the third thing, which is also very great, is the silence, because it's so quiet. It's really so quiet, and um, you can hear now my voice. You can hear you can hear all right now because this is so quiet. I tell you one thing, guys. You will believe or not, um, my HDD is louder than all the stuff here. Okay, my my chair. <laughs> okay, my chair is louder than this system. The only thing that can get a little bit louder is maybe the PSU, maybe, when I have here running some benchmarks or whatever. Um, yeah, I got here now, just that you can hear, I got here running an HDD. Um, I have just talked it out, um, because, yeah, this was normally here inside the system, but it was still loud, because this is just an HDD, and so the older hard disk drives, they are running uh, and you, you can hear them. So um, an SSD, just like, let's say, uh, this one here, SSD like this one, or another one, or whatever one. So it doesn't matter. SSDs, they make no noise, okay? We, we all know about that. But I just want to, um, yeah, to show you, to present you my silent uh, system here. And uh, you can't forget about all consoles. You can't forget about all PlayStation 3s, PlayStation 4, and the next gen PlayStation 5 or whatever. You can't forget all because here, this stuff here, you can always upgrade it. A PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, you're gonna not be able to upgrade it. So that's why a computer is always the best choice. So the other thing now, before I forget, uh, just take care <laughs> and just listen. Wait, I'm gonna put my smartphone again a little bit more up so that you can see what I'm doing here and let's put it over here okay so and I recommend you to not skip my videos otherwise you're gonna miss some great stuff now I will just let it run I'm gonna I go near the case now okay I'm here just now near in the case or on the case and I will shut up my mouth and you will now just hear the system and I will not move, also not with my chair. I will just be very silent. Okay, you have hear it now. Now I'm gonna just take off my HDD. The next thing that you are maybe hearing right now are the fans. <laughs> and maybe you can hear sometimes my cat or my kitties. Okay, so this was now just that you can see how great water cooling is. And now just that you can hear again the same. Let's connect back the hard disk drive.
<laughs> okay, I think you can hear it. You have saw that I have just connected the hard disk drive and that's why this window just appeared. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about this stuff and the great thing will come now. I'm gonna show you the amazing temperatures, guys. You're gonna not believe it. Uh, let me now just get down my smartphone again. And uh, so here now I need just again to adjust it. You 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 need to to take um, time for my videos, and you will need also um, to <laughs> have patience with me because when I do something, it needs to be perfect. So okay, and uh, you can hear already all now. And I'm gonna now just um, yeah get off this window here. Now I'm gonna just move. Um, the camera to the temperatures of my CPU. So take a look. Here I got Core Temp installed, and then we're gonna just take a look on Core Temp. So you can see here my temperatures are right now on about room temperature. <laughs> Let's say like that because water, uh, water cooling has always the room temperature. It's, yeah. Otherwise, you have just a shitty water cooling, and I'm gonna talk, yeah, about that just later. But um, if you have a great water cooling, I tell you one thing, guys, you're gonna have the best temperatures ever, okay? On the PlayStation, on a console, or, or like the PlayStation 4, on the Xbox, or on a computer, if you have a big water cooling, guys, you're gonna have amazing temperatures. And it doesn't matter what you do and how much loading. Or, or how much games or how heavy games you play, it doesn't matter, the temperatures will always stay stable. But for this, um, you need to understand lots of stuff. And that's why I'm gonna uh, speak with you together because I got this things here about 10 years, 15 years running. I got water cooling. I think my, my first water cooling was about 20 years, but this here now is just Everson. And I know the system is not the newest. I got here two GTX 680 running on SLI, but um, they are just boot overclock till the end <laughs> and we can say they are, yeah, let's say they are nearly so strong or yeah, maybe so strong like a GTX 980 Ti, okay? So this is just ever so. But uh, of course the Ti, the 980 uh, GTX Ti has about 6 GB uh, VRAM and two GTX 680 on SLI that has maximum 4 gigabytes because a single GTX 680 has um, 2 gigabytes of 4, uh, VRAM. But you can also get uh, GTX, uh, GTX 680 also uh, with 4 uh, gigabytes VRAM. But this doesn't matter. This is just that you can see the temperatures right now that you understand all. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that I got here a Xeon. This is a, a W3680-3680. Uh, this was one of the best uh, uh, yeah, Xeons on socket 1366 and um, we got here uh, open uh, multi. So that means the, the ratio here is just unlocked. Uh, you can do here, you can set your, your ratio settings um, up to uh, 63. <laughs> so it's open, it's it's unlocked, we can say, okay? So let's say this unlocked. Uh, some other uh, CPUs, they are maximum on about, I don't know, 20, 25. But this one here can go up till 63, okay? Just let you know. Uh, maybe this is now just too complicated for some other people that are just playing around with some PlayStations or whatever. But I just want to tell you this processor here is Everson, guys. And still, you can use this processor to play the newest games. I'm not kidding. You can play here still the newest Dirt Rally 2.0. You can play the newest, um, yeah, let's say the newest Tomb Raider, Shadow Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think it calls. And uh, also the newest game like... like um, Red Dead uh, Redemption. Uh, this is all no problem with this CPU, okay? Maybe the only problem that I got here uh, <laughs> are my GTX 680, which are running on SLI, like you can see here, but I still can play the most, not maybe in ultra, but I can play the most in very high. And this, yeah, without problem with about 60 frames per second. Yeah, really stable with uh, vertical synchronization on, because I love it. And this is just running perfect, guys. You can see here the first one here, and there is the second one. Okay, here the first GTX 680, and here the, the second one. Okay, 
on SLE running like you can see and just with 12 gigabytes of uh, RAM okay because I don't have more I got here very great um, memories from Corsair um, yeah together about uh, 12 gigabytes um, and they are running on triple channel okay this is also the thing that I love <laughs> on this motherboard okay 1366 has triple channel support okay you got to love it such an old system which is still one of the best in my eyes so um yeah now you can hear my chair all the time because the system is so so quiet okay now i'm going to show you that you also can see the cpu now is just uh, on standby let's say like that um it's just on sleeping mode, it's on idle, so I have set it in BIOS that uh, when he has nothing to do, so he can go down and uh, he will just run cooler, of course, because yeah, it's not so it's not so a, a big overclock and he's running on about 1.8 gigahertz, sometimes on um, 2 gigahertz. But you can see also when, when the picture in the background is moving, he begins also again to work sometimes, okay? And that's why I just love it, because you can just save your energy. The processor will, of course, run even more cooler, <laughs> because it's not enough that it runs on 80 degrees or 20 or 23 degrees. Uh, you can always do that, uh, we can say, stuff to make it a little bit better. So, yeah, this video uh, will be a little bit longer, but you guys are going to love it if you have, uh, we can say, if you are interested uh, on how crazy I am, and if you are interested on water cooling, if you are interesting to get you in future such great stuff, then you should really watch this video. So, yeah, um, have I forget something? No, I have not forget something. No, I'm gonna show you the craziest thing ever, and I'm gonna zoom back. So now you can see, like I told, the CPU is just yeah sleeping around. <laughs> Six cores with uh, threads, of course. I'm got, I, I'm here on win Windows 7, but I can all the time just go uh, to Windows 10 because I got here two systems, and I just wanted also to show you that because I got here two systems installed, I can just switch between uh, Windows 7 uh, or Windows 10. The other great thing is also, which is really crazy, I got here an old Zalman um, yeah fan. Yeah, control or fan adjuster, whatever it calls, but this one here is, is a, a nice one. I have also a video somewhere where I have repaired the, um, the LEDs inside because the LEDs was just not lighting up. This was just so dark. And here the great thing is, as you can see, I'm running my system right now on 140 watts. Okay, you can also see here on the blue line, it, it's just not doing nothing. So we are here talking about 140 watts for the whole system, okay? For all that is here running, for the lights, for the fans, for the water pump, for the uh, SSDs, for the lights, like I told, for the HDD and for this for for uh, fans here, this is we can say here now, uh, yeah, let's say 140 watts needed. Okay, it conforms. Um, maybe when he is really doing nothing, nothing, it gets also down to I think about 130 watts. But uh, this is just okay, guys. Okay, because. We got here a big system, the motherboard also, before I forget, is totally cooled, also all with water cool. So let me now just get a little bit near, otherwise I'm going to forget maybe important infos. So you can see here, the motherboard is completely cooled, the chip, the chip, um, chipset on the motherboard, the MOSFETs, all here is cooled with water cooling. So this water block gets down till here, okay, the water gets here inside. It runs down here, gets up to the chipset and it gets, uh, we can say, more up, even more up and then it gets out here. But I'm gonna just show you this later. Oh, let's show you this now, this is no problem, but uh, uh, no problem, but I need to take out my smartphone that you can understand this. So, now let me just turn my lights on and then you're gonna see it even better. Here I got my own filter, normally this is a diesel filter. <laughs> For some small stuff, I don't know, or, or let's say a, 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 a gasoline filter, just like for some yeah motorcycles or whatever. But it is a great thing that I have made a long time ago. Uh, I have, like you can see, yesterday um, just made all the water really nice. I have you you should always just use distillated water, and I have uh, we can say here this stuff here also mix it two bottles of this one. It has one liter. I have mixed it 
two bottles uh, for five liter uh, five liters distillated water I, I hope this is the, the right name and um, you should not use uh, normal water just don't use standard or water <laughs> okay don't use just the water that you can drink you need to use your distillated water because when something happens here when the water gets uh, somewhere maybe your tubes are yeah just broken or whatever uh, distillated water will not destroy your system because it's just a water that has no contact has no minerals or uh, what calls in english i don't know but you guys need to uh, excuse me for my english but i hope you understand it you need to use distillated water otherwise i'm gonna just watch here on google how it calls in english so here you can see the very first big thing here is this big damn great reserato from Zalman. okay so this guy um, is a big one because it's it's not just the cooling it's also the place where the water is inside and this one here you can get here inside up to 2.3 liters on water okay it's also somewhere written here <sighs> so wait um blah 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 here um 2.5 liters my fault <laughs> Okay, I have just tape it here around because here's a small hole and I just don't like when air gets inside. I just don't like when dust gets inside and that's why I have just close it for me. You don't need to do that, but this one is a real great one. It has also uh, normally a water pump inside. Yeah, my fingernail is broken. So it has here just normally a water pump inside, which has, we can say, 5 watts. And let's say 5 watts is okay for your CPU only, but if you one day gonna... Um, have a lots of stuff uh, running around the water pump that is here inside the stock water pump will not have the power to run all the system included a big Mora 3 okay this is a big radiator and uh, the normal or stuck water pump that is here inside will just not have the power that's why you can open this feet here down you, you will need a, a, a strong friend because one need to hold the stuff here and the other guy need to turn here to the left side because this gets very very hard open but then you get inside and you can take your water pump out okay <laughs> really great so here maybe let's just take a look as inside because i just want to show you so much as possible in a quick time that you also can see how it looks inside so i hope you can see it yeah you can see also the tube that I have made. This is just for Pupo, so the water uh, is, yeah, always running around. That's good. Because when water stays, um, it's not that great, okay? So that's why here the water is always running. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit for you guys. Yeah, but it's okay. You can see the water is always moving and that's great okay because when the water just stays around it gets bad you know so i just love it like that and um yeah so the water gets all the time circulated is this the right name in english yeah it's always running so uh, sorry my fault now let's just close it here you have also here a rubber so this is here just getting really perfect you get no air inside it's just very very nice so now to explain you how the system is running okay you got here your water pump i got here an extra flow meter i have just done this all for purpose that when something happens one day i can just take a look and see ah the water pump is not working okay so when i shut down my system the water pump will just or we can say the the, the the flow meter will not work of course and i have not just shut down my lights that so you can see better here inside but now yeah we will begin with a water pump a uh, water pump <laughs> so sorry <laughs> and then i'm gonna explain you this is just easy so the water pump is running and he takes the water from this side this is this side here okay so here gets the water out here's the output and here I got a filter like I told because it's the output you should always have just clean 
water here running in the system. Okay, otherwise this will get full of dirty or it will get dirty and it will just stuck and it will not run because it's somewhere just we can say a, um, a blow card or it's just blocked it somewhere. So that's why here the water gets out. You can see it. I got here a small air bubble because I have just done it yesterday all nice and clean and this sometimes just yeah just need some some hours and some days so the last bubbles will go away so then the water gets here inside through this tube <laughs> this tube is this one here and then it gets down to the water pump here I got my first protection which is my flow meter which I can always see what's happened when this one stops it makes it begins to beep 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 then um, the water pump takes uh, the water here and then it, yeah it gets the water up here in the first tube which is the CPU okay so it gets there inside I got here also a very great CPU water block which is from Cry Cryos um, High Flow, I think it's the right name, still one that is very expensive. But if you buy uh, some water blocks, you should always go for the better ones. Then you don't need to buy two times. <laughs> so the water, um, of course, then gets out from this tube. It runs to the other tube and it gets here inside to the first graphics card. Okay, here it gets here inside. It runs to the water block in the graphics card and then it gets here out. From here it gets there to the second graphics card and then it goes also around the water block from the second graphics card and then it gets just here out and it runs directly to the motherboard. Okay, so on the motherboard, the yeah water block for the motherboard, it runs down, I don't know if you can see it, so it runs down all the way down, you can see that here, and then it gets up on the other side, it gets here through the ASUS logo, and then it gets up and there the water, which is a little bit warm, <laughs> gets out again. So from this tube, the water gets directly to this side and it gets here inside to the radiator, which is one of the most important thing ever on the water cooling. Um, as bigger your radiator is, as cooler your water temperatures will be. <laughs> so this one here is a Mora 3, a 420 LT or something like that, I don't know. A Mora 420 LT, yeah this was long ago. And you, if you can hear a little bit, you will maybe hear also the air coming here out a little bit. Wait. Okay, and they are running so low, about um, 400 uh, rounds per minute. And I have soldered all these four fans, I have soldered it together on one cable that I just can adjust it with one button. Okay, so the water gets here inside and you have always three tubes, aluminum tubes. You have, that's why I think this one calls Mora 3 because it has always three tubes from aluminum. Three, 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 and it gets up. I think all together included, um, it's about 45 meters. I don't know, I need to read it again. <laughs> so the water gets here inside and it runs see inside through the three uh, yeah, heat pipes or whatever it calls to these three aluminum tubes and it gets here up and then it goes back and it goes here around all the way it gets cooled between or we can say um, let's say all the way cooled as long the water is running or circulating and then the cold water gets here again fresh and cold just out it goes down <laughs> all the way down to here and then it gets all the way down it gets here circulated all this all the time cool and really fresh and really nice really great guys i don't know where i have my my temperature um 
gun I got here, a temple shoot checker, so a small gun, a small yellow one, so I can check the temperature. But I can tell you this is just cool. So for now, I'm gonna now get my smartphone again back to the tripod and I'm gonna disable the lights so it will be better for you. And now we're gonna do a hardcore test for the temperatures. So, and you're gonna not believe your eyes. <laughs> And that's the, the great thing on water cooling. So now, wait, I need just to adjust it all. So let me just make it on. Here I need to focus again more. Here I need to get down a little bit. So wait, let me just uh, set this all for you guys. So as better it will be for you. All right. And I, I love to do that videos because this is so much infos for you guys and I love you, I love you and that's why I, I do all for you that you know what NSC is talking about. If you got the great system just like me, you don't need so much money to have a high-end machine like this one. And if you are, if you have a water cooling just like this, you can always upgrade it. You can always just get some water blocks for the newer graphics card. You can, you can also buy some IM4 uh, for your Ryzen or whatever, you can just buy water blocks for all the shit. So that's why uh, if you have a big water cooling system just like I have here, you have footer for the next 20, 30, 40 years without problem because you will be able always <laughs> to have some water blocks for your hardware. Okay, now we're gonna begin. Let's not check the HD again. I got here some tools and now take a, <laughs> take a look again about the loudness or yeah. So, here we go. <laughs> mm, yeah, you can hear all the time the HDD. So, all right, now let me just try to get this here perfectly for you guys. And I'm gonna put this here away. And uh, let's go here to some stuff like yeah, here, Prime. I'm going to start Prime uh, 95 for you guys. And it's just that you can see how this is running. Prime 95 is a stress test tool which gonna let your processor run 100% load. Okay, and that's why you're going to now see here how this will get up. Okay, and that's why let me just zoom a little bit more for you guys. So, here we go. Yeah, I think you can see it. And now I'm going to start Prime 95. I will say yes. Stress testing. And I'm going to say all the cores. Hyper tweeting and all the shit. So now let me just click OK. And here we go. <laughs> let me zoom back because this is so much, um, yeah, so much windows here. I just don't want to open it because you got here lots of cores now. I got the six core processor here with six uh, hyper threading, so at last it it are uh, they are twelve uh, uh, cores together, and that's why this window is just too small, and I would need to open all myself and just to adjust it all myself, and this can take a long time. So here, this is just as a test uh, when you are yeah um, overclocking your CPU. You should also test, of course, if your CPU is running stable or not. And that's why this tests like Prime 95, this is just great. But I don't want to open it this all because this will take a lot of years. <laughs> and I will not just let it like this. I will just minimize and now take a look on the temperatures. How the processor is working on about 4.2 gigahertz. And just what, watch the temperatures, guys. Watch the temperatures and watch and watch. So, and before I forget, um, if you got a PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 at home, just started it right now because I got a surprise for you guys. <laughs> yeah, one surprise more. And that's why you should not skip my videos. I'm not kidding. Sometimes NSC is crazy and I just come with some yeah surprises. <laughs> so here you can see it's running non-stop on 4.2 GHz, which is fully enough, really fully enough. I have also overclocked this CPU, I think, one time on 5.2 GHz, but this was just too much. 
and I had really need uh, a lot of voltage settings and I, I had need to um, set more voltage on the BIOS and this was just not worth for me because 4.2 GHz and this on 12 cores, hey, what you want more? Damn hell, this is so great. You will never need something else. And that's why I tell you. And then you have maybe some SSDs inside and your system will run just like hell, really. And then you just get you a GTX 980 Ti, which is, yeah, we can say a little bit, uh, it's a little bit cheaper as the newest one. So that's why I can still recommend a GTX 980 Ti because I got a GTX 980 Ti down in my living room on my second computer. And for the people that are as a longer time on my YouTube channel, they know I have the same system just down in my living room, also with the uh, Asus Rampage 3 Extreme, which is the same just, it's just the same board like here, <laughs> but it's just not water cooled. I got the exactly same board in my living room. On the next video, I'm gonna maybe show you that. And this is all just the same, but the only thing that is not uh, the same in my living room is just that my computer, the white one, I hope you can remember the computer that I have down on my TV room, there on, on my living room. My computer in my living room is just a white computer, but the, 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 the hardware inside is just all the same like this one, but without water cooling and without the two GTX 680s, because I got there a GTX 980 Ti, also overclocked, and that's why I know <laughs> and I can tell you I still can recommend a great, yeah, Asus Strikes or uh, EVGA, uh, Superclocked maybe, I don't know, but I can recommend you uh, GTX 980 Ti, really great. It's way better than the, than the GTX 980. It's in my eyes still better than the GTX 1080 because the Ti, the Ti <laughs> is the great thing, okay? So GTX 980 Ti, or if you have the money, of course, get the newest one. <laughs> so here, the computer is still running and running and running and running. And just hear the, the, the loudness, just hear how silent. The only thing that you can hear about here is just the HDD here. <laughs> it's crazy guys, really crazy. So now I was talking so much, we're gonna let it run for a bit of time. It's no problem, I got time for you and uh, you should also have time for me if you watch my videos you should always take your time on my youtube channel so the other thing that i want to show is also i got here msi afterburner which i always yeah just can recommend again and <laughs> shit just watch the graphics card number one temperatures is on 29 degrees and it's just 29 because my CPU is running. So the water is of course a little, 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 little bit warmer as normally. And I got here the GPU2, which is the second GTX 680, also running on 29 or 28 degrees. So let me just move this a little bit, a little bit more to the right side. So guys, and yeah, I hope you can understand my English. Um, before I forget, like I told you, get your PlayStation ready. And I have again a great giveaway for you guys. So get your PlayStation 3 ready, guys. Come on. PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 doesn't matter. Get in your PSN store and be ready for my next giveaway code. So let me take a look because they are all brand new. So the first one that's gonna type it, you're gonna win it. I think this is fair or not. And some people are really great to me. They just send me sometimes some great donations. And if you donate, guys, I'm gonna also help you. What's the problem? That's why it's great. I don't like people that just takes money, you know, and gives nothing. I, I Sometimes I give some stuff to you guys and I even got no money. <laughs> But just for you, because this is a sign that I like you guys, okay? I, I, I like you and it's a pressure for me that you are with me guys and I, I love that that 
you are helping me also with some subscribers or some great comments and all this shit. I really just love it and I respect it really much for all my shit that I, I'm doing here. Yeah, I know my English is not the best, but yeah, <laughs> this pisses me off myself. But I don't care, I, I keep doing my stuff so great, as, so great as I can. And I'm learning all the time, so when I just remember my first YouTube video, oh my god, just run away. <laughs> that was really badass. But a lot of people just told me, hey NSC, you need to do some YouTube videos, man. You rock, you show great stuff, you know great stuff, you know lots of stuff. So let me see, one, two, no, this is the third giveaway. Yeah, yeah, guys, you can now keep watching it. Or you can go out, you know, because you will have now a giveaway. Maybe you will now leave this video. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but I told you guys, never skip my videos and watch it better always till the end. So, um, what I'm gonna take? I'm gonna take my SSD. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about the temperatures, guys. We are running here prime 95. Let me just take it down, that you can see that it's really running on the background. And we are here on about 60 degrees, guys. Okay, this would never be possible with some cheapy water coolings that you can get for your CPU or whatever. A bigger water cool is just the best thing that you can do. So water coolings inside the computer case is just a bullshit. So, um, yeah, it looks maybe good. This is the only thing. Yeah, great water coolings inside uh, the case. It looks great. It's yeah, yeah, I know. But it never can be so cold like an external water cooling. Okay, now again, here we go. Some great surprise again for you guys. So let's get back here. So, okay, guys. Oh my god, no, 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 wait, my smartphone is just not doing the stuff that I want, but it's okay. I need to take some other stuff because this is metal and my monitor, <sighs> my smartphone is just reacting. Ah, let me see what I'm going to take. Ah, okay, 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 here I'm going to take, yeah. My manual from my Canon or whatever. Doesn't matter what. Okay, guys, be ready. Finally, now it's working. Here we go. I hope you are ready on your PlayStation. So get ready, get into PSN store. I'm gonna begin the next giveaway code, just a surprise for you guys. This is my third giveaway code in the last days. No one told me, hey, thank you. I don't know why, but <laughs> I think they are too happy just. And I'm happy with you guys too. So. Okay. So. The last four code numbers will come in three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, I hope it's enough and time is over. <laughs> time is over. So, one, two, three. Yeah, great, great, great. One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, I just love you and I just love it also to do the surprises. I'm happy. I'm sharing my stuff with you guys. Also, the donations that the peoples are sending me. Even that I am sharing with you guys. Okay, now I'm going to show you the best thing ever on a water cooling that you can understand why I just love this all. I'm going to now just, um, yeah, get this down here. And now you just take care here on the temperatures. Just take care. I'm going to close prime. Okay, I'm gonna, wait, 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 let me zoom back or let me just get here down. Yes, I'm gonna get down here also this tool. And then I'm gonna just exit the tool and just take care 
on the temperatures. Okay, guys, don't miss that one. Okay, don't miss this one now. <laughs> this point is one of the best ever. So I'm gonna now go here to um, yeah prime 95. Now I'm gonna click on stop. I will count from three to zero, and then take care on the temperatures. Wait. And this is why I love water cooling. So three, two, one. <laughs> we are back to 22, 25 degrees, whatever. And this is just not possible with some cheapy water coolings. It's also not possible with air cooling because now when you would just stop the tool prime 95, the, your CPU will still stay on about 70 degrees, 75 or 72 and it will take about 5, 10 or 15 or 20 minutes till it gets down again back to 45 or let's say about 50 degrees, okay? Because these are, yeah, just the air coolers uh, on some uh, processors or even just on this processor, it will now need, it will take a lot of time if you would have your air cooling system the air coolers they, they need a lot of times and that's why just take care guys look this is water cooling you know i'm back again <laughs> this is water cooling my friend okay and that's why you're gonna love it i'm gonna do also um one more test uh let's say uh, a great benchmark for yeah just for end up the video because otherwise it will get again just um too long the video and you can see the, the HDD is now on standby and that's why it's really silent. Let me just start the HDD. <laughs> Let me start the HDD again. I will wake up the HDD again. So take care. <laughs> yeah, it's running again and you can hear it, right? Yeah, guys, this is really crazy. I'm, um, yeah, just impressed myself all the time that I just show you this stuff because I love to show you this stuff, guys. Let me just adjust again my smartphone and it confirms on which position I am. Now, I'm going to start a benchmark, which all of you maybe know. Um, yeah, Heaven Benchmark 4.0. I know you can get maybe newer ones, but I don't care. This is not just to test the temperature, guys. And the other thing, before I also forget, um, I wanted to show you a great tool, which this water pump, uh, water pump has. Wait, so, water pump. <laughs> water pump, water pump, water pump, pump, pump. So, um, yeah, here, Aqua Suite. Great stuff, guys, really. And I'm sorry that... I cannot speak so well English, otherwise I, I would tell you a lot more, but it's okay, you can you can understand. So now let's go here to um, here to my pump. And the great thing is also now you can see on how much speed the pump is running. So the pump is now running on 3600 RPM. Okay, that means these are the rounds per minute, the, the water uh, how it called turbine what uh, I don't know you, you know what I mean and uh, it, it's running about uh, with uh, 3600 once per minute and I can go here I can set it faster okay I can also see how much energy my water pump is taking okay here you can see the voltage which is the black line and the red line or orange is we can say or let's say um the yeah the speed of the water pump so now take a look and even that you are not able to hear it i can hear it a little 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 bit but it's in the case and that's why you cannot hear the pump because it's just great. The pump is just plays it great and it has some great anti-vibration stuff under there. 
and you will never ever hear something and that's great guys and uh, <laughs> yeah let me not just take a look on, on the other side because you can also see here on the flow meter when I will just get lower um, the speed the water pump speed I'm gonna now get let's say to 3000 or like that and then you will now be able to see that also on the flow meter okay so wait okay I will now slow down the speed and here we go I will go even more down I will go now to minimum and now at last I hope you can see it really slow tuk 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 you see that okay it's now about t -t 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 something like that now I'm gonna go up again to 4500 rounds per minute I hope you guys can see that. I have now turned off the lights. Let's move here maybe. Yeah, it's maybe hard with the camera, but it's really great to see guys. And this is just amazing with this software what you can do all so now um i will go back of course to 3600 because i know that already i have tested already and you also can see right now um that it takes of course more voltage okay and um so here yeah let me turn on uh, turn on the lights again but here you can see already the the red line and the black line um this one here was not the voltage you can see it, it was going up and now it gets down again a little bit and I'll go even more down because I have just tested for myself so the water flow on 3600 rounds per minute is just okay for me, for myself and also the voltage stays on the same okay, so wait alright, now um, what else? yes, this is also very interesting um, you can also um, connect um, a fan to your water pump and then you can also control your fan over this tool here. So that means you can here connect just some fans on your water pump. Okay, your water pump has on the back side just some plugs that you can just plug in a fan or whatever. So now let's get here inside and here you can also see, uh, you can also connect a temperature sensor on your water pump for external uh, you can hear the water pump has also um, uh, internal water temperature sensor, which is right now on 24.3 degrees. You can see also here how much water it's, um, yeah, it's the, the flow from the water per, uh, per hour. Okay, so here we got 155 liters per hour that the water pump is working. And yeah, here, how much watts it needs and here are the the rounds per minute like you can see we have yeah we was here playing around and what the pump is working on uh, yeah nearly 12 volts perfectly on 12 volts and you can just set also your your ventilator you can control your ventilator and all the stuff this is just a great stuff guys and that's why I just wanted also to show you this great tool which is included with the water pump if you get the same one like this so let me not just again focus a little bit we're gonna now for the last thing like i told i'm gonna close here uh, prime definitely gonna exit it now um yeah let's see the nvidia system settings uh, settings let me see i'm gonna just activate sli for the most power so i'm gonna here really get all running all right now SLI is activated 
I'm going to prove you that also because let's just deactivate it again. So wait, I'm going to prove you that. Okay, guys. So now it's deactivated, and um, I'm going to start this now. I will just light it like this on extreme, and I will just run it right now. And now just take care here. It's running on about 300, no, wait, uh, 190, 200 watts. So now it's running on. And you can also see the GPU, uh, GPU number one is now on 42 degrees. Okay. GPU number two is just slipping around because SLI is deactivated. So this is the first proof that it's just really only one graphics card running. And we got here about 330 uh, watts. Okay, and that's why you can see that. And not to forget, this is on extreme, running on 40 frames per second, just with a single GTX 680. But this one is really just overclocked to the maximum. <laughs> one day I'm going to show you all. But it's a lot of times and so... Three hundred forty watts, three hundred forty-two watts was the maximum right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna close it. We're gonna now activate SLI. So it just closes. You should close all the tools before you activate or deactivate SLI. Now I'm gonna, like I told here, activate it. Here we go. <coughs> Blah -bam. So guys, we have now activated SLI. And you can also see it because these two icons, they are just moving all the time when you activate it or deactivate it. So let's not just start again. <laughs> this crazy tool. You can find a lot better, but I don't care. I'm not talking about the benchmark tools. I'm talking about the temperatures. And um, this is just enough to test this all. So. All right, here we go. Again, the same shit. SLI activated. Two GTX 680s, totally overclocked to the maximum. And wait, so let me put it here. Here we go now. You can see it here right now also. The second GPU now will get also a little bit hotter. It is now on about 40 degrees. Here it's also working right now. When SLI was deactivated, this was just slipping. And you can see it also here. When SLI is deactivated, you got memory about 300 just. Or something like that, because it's on idle. So, and the other thing is also, of course, we got here now 460 watts. So I hope you can see that somehow, because it's yeah, difficult to record that smartphone I don't know from which side I should record 462 watts my friends <laughs> you can see also here the yellow the yellow line 460 watts just amazing guys we can also do a small benchmark, but this doesn't matter. It is running already. <laughs> Let's bench it. On hardcore settings. Extreme. Best graphics ever. I can do that also on Windows 10, doesn't matter. This is really a lot. And here, before I forget. Just 
just take a look on the CPU. It's just slipping around, guys. 11% load, this is nothing. You're gonna have a CPU for the next 5 or 10 years without problems. So you don't need a <laughs> AMD Ryzen or whatever. You will be still <laughs> very happy with a Xeon CPU like this one here on socket 1366. And that's why I'm gonna, or I have done these videos for you guys right now. Okay, got just to love it. Let's check. 463 watts. <laughs> yeah, but it's here just staying all around 460, 470. I, I'm just trying to get the angel or what it calls the, the best side to record that you can see the numbers because it's really hard with a smartphone to get this display now inside. 400. 59, 460, 473 watts, 474 on the Dragon. Yeah guys, I'm gonna stop it right now and then just take a look on the temperatures of course, it's not getting higher than 42. It doesn't matter which game I play, I swear you guys, I can play Dirt Rally 2.0, I can play whatever. It doesn't get over 45 degrees because of this big water cooling here. <laughs> and that's why I love it. So now just as you can see, I'm gonna stop the benchmark, not just take care of the watts also. <laughs> yeah, a lot of power needs, guys. So here, like you can see, I have just closed it. We are back on 200 watts, 160 watts. Okay, you got to love this, guys. You got to love it. And when NSC tells you that you got to love it, then you got to love it. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. And um, maybe for the guys that was still here watching this video. Uh, what do you think about? One more giveaway code or not? Wait. What do you think about, guys? Let's see. I have a good day. <laughs> so, let me see what I have for you. One, two, three. Mm. Yeah, should be no problem. One, two, three. Okay. Giveaway code number four. <laughs> get your PlayStations ready. Get into PSN. And don't forget about my words, guys. You got to love the system. Okay. Here, temperatures. Back to what's written? 28. No zoom right now. Oh, yeah, difficult. So, doesn't matter. Let's get it about here. And then you can see it also here. So we are now again just back 21, 26, 22, 23. <laughs> hey, this is crazy or not, guys? So I just wanted to show you this because you can get on the internet a lot of water cooling, but like I told, water cooling is not water cooling, okay? You need to take care of what, what you get for. So. Let me just show you some stuff here, like um, just some stuff like this shitty here. See, I have not just typed this in, in German, but I don't care. Just take it this shitty here, okay? So if you get one for your CPU, then it's okay. But if you begin to overclock your CPU, then it gets a little bit danger. And if you begin to have some hardcore games just like I have, you're gonna reach your 70 degrees still. <laughs> because this small stuff here, they are just getting hot with the time. Okay, you have no, you have not so much water like on this, on, on, on yeah, <laughs> so big this tower. Like on this tower here, I got here 2.5 liters on water. And this small stuff here, 
gets heated up quickly guys and that's why i just tell you before you give your money before you waste your money 100 bucks or 200 bucks for this shit is here you better get a great reservoir just like this one a great tower and uh, you can do your own stuff get your water pump this water pump from eheim you can find it already uses for about 40 bucks or whatever so the last the last stuff the, the last things that you need it's just the water blocks and uh, some tubes and whatever and this can yeah it not must be always so uh, expensive the, the stuff you know so that's why i just wanted to to show you this uh, a real water cooling should always be just external just here with me <laughs> or with yeah just like nsc um, it just will have a lot of fun for the next years guys really promise it okay so I, I told you get ready um i know i know i'm i'm really uh giving away too much stuff <laughs> but i hope you guys just um respect it and you just love it and um so here wait let me zoom back again okay this is the last giveaway code for now and i hope you like it guys two giveaway codes in one video wow not bad so here we go so wait again get ready guys on your playstation 3 or playstation 4 get into your psn and let's start i hope this is good to see whoop yeah yeah, yeah i know <laughs> so and I will count down again from three, two, one, zero. Okay, guys, have fun. And yeah, the one that has typed it, the faster one, will win it. I think this is fair enough. Okay, guys, um, yeah, 